Konnichiwa, Mino, this is Tizakura, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's 10 minute first impressions video is going to be on a Sinclair or Spectrum uh, game, and that is Octopussy. I'm really excited to be able to finally give this one a try. I had to really work hard to get this thing to work. So I'm really excited to um, have the opportunity to be able to show you guys this game. So, yeah, I'm can't wait. As always, tell me about the game. First time playing the game, a version thereof, and the console can be thing. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started, and as we see, we are getting our mission from probably M. And it's a clown. Right. Bond is not amused. He has to go save a clown. And look for whatever that is. That is the golden... Something. Golden compass, yes. We'll call it. And the creepy smiling. Yes. We will play the game. Okay. Loader by BusySoft. Now see, it's funny because I actually turned off the fast loading off of this. And... <laughs> I just think that's funny. Because now... It's going to do it. Actually, that's still a lot faster than I thought it would be. Hmm. Okay. We now find ourselves at this... Picturistic spot. We arrive on a boat in the canal to a beautiful spot where the buildings are yellow, the water is blue, the sidewalks are gray, and that trolley is green because green makes a good trolley. Will Bond be able to do it? Would he find the clown that has been kidnapped? We shall find out. Eventually. <laughs> and well, honestly, yes, I could have uh, sped up the, the cassette loading. But it kind of takes away from the feel. Um, what it was, really. And for some reason, if I load really, really fast, it messes up the game. I know that sounds weird, but that's just the truth. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video uh, as this uh, goes to load. And we are back. Yeah, that takes a while. <laughs> really does. Okay, let's do that. Alright, so here we have the game. Yellow buildings, red doors, and Bond in a white suit with white outlined. Okay. And now we have a red Bond. Yes. Okay. I guess that door is not where we need to go. I'm actually quite enjoying this. Um, do I have an up and down? Haven't found the up and down yet. That would be nice. Oh, hey, I found it. It's Q and A. Okay, Q and A are up and down, I guess, or Q and W. Oh, okay, it's Q and A. Q and A is up and down. K L is left and right, and then um, space bar is enter, I guess. Okay. And we go talk to Jack Skeleton. Guess we can't talk to Jack Skeleton. Okay. Hmm. Okay, moving on then. What's it go inside the building? Mm hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Apparently he's not going to do anything. And there's Alfred. You can t Oh no, it's not Alfred because he has a drink in his hand. Hmm. Sorry, Alfred. Okay, so I can't go in there. Can't go any further that way. Okay. Or that way. Hmm. Let's go back up there and see if I can continue a little bit downward. Nope. Oh, I see. Okay, so the white part up there, that's, um... My inventory. Okay. I understand now. Will that actually help me? No. <laughs> I have... Okay, so... I can't go down the stairs yet. So... Let's go through the other door and see what happens. There is a door. Which is locked, apparently. I can't go through that door. And that's a wall. Hmm. So I'd probably need a key to use on that. Alright, then. Let's go over here and see what needs to be done. Okay, we have a skeleton wearing a helmet, and we have a goer over there who is obviously naked and sitting down contemplating if he should put clothes on. Okay. And there are two people over there talking about rugs or something. Hmm. Nope, that doesn't work. Nope, okay. That didn't work at all. Hmm. Can't go through that door, so let's head over this way. And we find some cars. Alright, so we made it into a bar. Apparently there's a lot of these. Uh, oh crap! No! No, 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 what'd I do? What'd I do? Uh, no! I hit the wrong button. Oh! Dang it. Okay. That's just sad. I hit the wrong button. Now to start all over again. Dang it. I thought I was actually getting somewhere. Okay. Alright then. Nope. Oh, okay. So, okay, we're gonna head back here. Go this way. Enter into here. And then, um. See Nope, okay, crap. Come on, come on. Nope, I guess that doesn't work. Okay. Hmm. Maybe if I hit enter. 
Nope. All right, then. We'll go over this way. See, this is the this is the time where it would be nice to actually have the manual, because if there's certain th buttons to do stuff, I have no idea what they are. Sadly. I mean, it took me a while to find the controls alone. And there goes the timer. Okay. Um, the one thing that stands out the most to me is, uh, graphically, it's not terrible. I mean, I really like what they've done with it. I mean, you have your menu down here, which is, uh, actually quite impressive. Um, the opening screen was not bad it looked really good and you know like i said it took me a while to uh figure out what the controls are because it's very specific on what the controls are when it comes to this system um not having the uh the manual does make it hard because i don't have something saying here's what your controls are um that makes it really difficult to play the game so it's, I don't blame that on the game, I actually blame it on just, I should have taken the time to look around because I guarantee you I can find on the internet every manual and then, you know, uh, somewhere tell me, here's what your buttons are. So I do not hold that against the game, I couldn't go very far in it because I didn't know what I was doing. I'm actually uh, quite impressed with the, um, with the menu. I, I think that's actually pretty cool what they have, how they have it, and I mean, it does make sense, you know, picking up, putting down, using uh, what the uh, squares are. I have no idea. Though, it, like I said, since I don't know all the commands, it does make it difficult for me to know what I'm supposed to do, and it's obviously a point-and-click adventure, which... I am very bad at, but at this point, because I don't know all the controls, that does hinder it. Other than that, I think it looks really pretty. Uh, you know, really well done for a system like this. And, of course, there is no music at all. It makes sense, since they put way more uh, into the graphics, since this is a cassette uh, game. So, yeah, it doesn't bother me one bit. Um... I'm still very impressed with uh, just how it looks, and it's the controls so far of what I was able to uh, use pretty much simple. The question, though, is where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? There's so much questions, but other than that, I enjoyed playing this, and uh, definitely another one of those games that if I can find more information on it to help make the game easier, I would love to... Um, play more and enjoy it so and i do apologize to anybody out there who actually owns this game on on their uh, spectrum and so i do apologize i know you're probably just like oh come on it was easy it was right there but this really is the first time i've uh, gotten this thing to work properly and it was fun uh showing you guys so here's another james bond game Yay. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is T. Sakura saying ciao and sayonara.